long ago, but it's all coming back to me. If I want you like this, and you need me like that, it was dead long ago, but it's all coming back. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started guys, please subscribe right now if you are new here and you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. And also guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow me on all of those. And guys, make sure you have your notification bell on. That way you get notified every time I upload a video thank you but what is going on you guys and today we are back with another science saturday even though it's thursday and today we're going to be taking a look at another experiment that i left in a jar for a whole month so that's right guys welcome back to another episode of what happens when and today we are going to be finding out the answer to what happens when you leave a Snickers bar in a jar of bleach for a whole month. Now, as you can see, here I am one month ago putting in the Snicker bar in a jar with bleach. Now, this Snicker was in its wrapper originally. It was in its, its paper, and I was stupid. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a good idea to put it in, in its paper. And then I filled it up with bleach thinking that the bleach would somehow destroy the paper or at least take the color away. Maybe it would have if I left it longer, but then I changed my mind. So I decided to reach in there, take it out, and uh, take off the, the wrapping paper and just put the snicker bar in. And now here I am one month later with the exact same jar, a little dusty. <laughs> And uh, inside the jar is the remnants of the snicker and the bleach, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna smell like. I have a feeling there's still some bits in there that I, I can see stuff floating around in there. Um, most of it is floating on the top. I'll put it here so you guys in the little camera can see. And uh, you can see there is a lot of nasty disgustingness going on in here. Uh, we are going to be reaching in there and see if there is anything in there at all. Um, and we're just going to find out. I, I, I'm I, pretty damn sure this has just become liquid at this point. I think the Snickers bar has completely dissolved. But we're going to take a look. If there is anything in there, then we will use the scalpel, which uh, I have been using in my other videos. We are going to cut it open and see what's inside of it. And... Uh, yeah, let's just get this over with, guys. So first, I gotta get latex up, because you don't wanna get bleach on your skin. I mean, it doesn't actually do anything unless you like leave it on for too long. I often bleach my hands, if I, especially if I have like stains on my fingers or something, I will use bleach. Um, but it's not wise, so I wouldn't recommend doing it. But here we go. Oh, 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 here she comes. Now, I, I can clearly see that the bleach has completely consumed the Snickers bar. And I was very sad about this. Like, I love Snickers, really wanted to eat it. Uh, but we're gonna find out what it smells like, I guess. So here it goes. Okay. Oh, f <coughs> Oh, it smells like fing paint thinner. Damn it. Oh. Ugh. Oh, that was so freaking strong. Sorry, guys, about the bad language. Oh, that was so strong. I should not have put my nose right up there. Oh, God, the bleach has... Sm it smells like... It doesn't smell like the lemon flavor of bleach anymore. It smells like paint thinner. Um, very strong. But it also... I can still taste the peanuts. Through No, it's not the peanuts. It's the caramel. I can still smell, did I say taste? I mean, I can smell, smell. Oh my God, guys, what is wrong with me today? I can still smell the caramel. It smells a little bit chocolatey. There is a little bit of a minty flavor to like, oh my God, scent. There's a little minty scent. I swear I'm not drinking or eating this stuff after the video's done. There is a mintiness, that is crazy. Like it smells like, it's gone from smelling like paint stripper to like, like a minty candy bar. 
Okay, I don't want to get too close. When you get too close, that's when it hits you pretty hard. Let's go in deep, guys, and see what we can pull out of this nastiness. Oh, we, we have some stuff. Oh, it's the peanuts, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to pour it, on, pour it out on the tray. All that stuff floating around in there. You guys see that? It's the peanuts and there's like a layer of chocolate. That must be the caramel because I can imagine the chocolate or the, the nougat would still would still be there. Um, let's see what else we can fish out of here. There is no solid though. I confirm there is no solid substance in here except for the uh, little remnants like this. I wonder if we should do a taste test. Nah, that's silly. That's silly. Oh yeah. No, we are just left with like little shards of chocolate. If you guys can see that. Little shards of, I'm thinking that's either the, the I think the chocolate would have just completely dissolved. I think that could possibly be the caramel because caramel is like very, very dense and sticky. And I feel like the bleach would have a hard time with the, the caramel and the peanuts have survived. So that is interesting. I'm not going to pour this out because it's just liquid and it's just going to be messy. So yeah, the candy bar did not survive, guys. It did not survive. But at least now we know the answer to what happens when you leave a Snickers bar in a jar of bleach for one whole month. The answer is a lot. <laughs> it, it, a lot. It just, I mean, if you don't like the Snickers bar, um, but you enjoy the peanuts, then this is a, a way for you to, to be able to get the peanuts out instead of, you know, wasting your time picking them out and whatever. You could just, you could just put it in bleach and then in one month when you take it out, you just fish those peanuts out and there you go. You're good to go. Why, why just, why? Like, why waste time picking them out when you could just put them in bleach and let the bleach do it for you. All right, guys, but thank you so much for watching. That is the end of that. This was a pretty short video, but thank you so much for watching. My question to all of you guys for question of the day is what else should I leave in these jars? Like what other liquid should I do next time? Uh, I still have a couple more jars to go through with bleach and uh, then we can start on other things like we can put other stuff in there but let me know what should i try as an experiment next time and we can do that like next month or whatever uh but yeah let me know and also guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash a like on it let's see if we can go for 100 likes on this video guys i would really appreciate that and if you guys are still here right now go look in the bottom of the description for the secret comment code Shh. don't tell anyone it's a secret i want you to take that code put it in the comment section it proves to me that you read the you watch the video till the very end and you found it. But that is all for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. And remember the most important thing, chase your dreams. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.